all right perfect now we are able to access our flask server on a local host we are also able to develop our api and we are actually able to access our flask server from a local host and our all these apis are working which we had seen in the previous lesson now our task is to access these apis from our local computer all right i mean from anywhere in the world let's say you are deploying your machine learning model now you want to you know now you want to world to test your machine learning model then you have to uh, you have to provide some api and uh, now your server should be accessible from anywhere in the world so what i'm going to do here i'm going to show you how you can uh, how you can uh, access your ec2 instance api from anywhere in the world if you notice here this is our instance which is running and uh, this is a public ip for for this instance you do remember whenever you restart your application i mean this ec2 instance your ip address will change so this is not going to be fixed if you want to fix your ip address then you have to purchase it from elastic ip then it will fix this ip address although that will cost some money all right so let's go ahead and copy it so this ip version 4 now what is our task our task is to access this instance from our local computer all right so so currently we are in our local computer and now we want to access this ec2 instance server which is actually running on flask let me show you which is running on this uh, flask server okay now i want to access instead of this local host from my local computer let's go ahead and uh, paste that here and if you remember our server is running at uh, i think 5000 port here let's go ahead and run it once you run it it will take some time but after that it will say that okay it is not able to connect or connection error so it is not accessible let's go ahead and make it accessible how you can make it accessible there are few things which you need to check the first thing you need to check here a security group and click on the security group in um, press the control and click on this one it will open here a new tab then you need to click on security group id thereafter you need to check this inbound rules so at this inbound rules it says that accept all traffic for all protocols and port range etc although this is not recommended if you are deploying your machine learning model what you can do here you can select it for only the ssh all right thereafter you can also select it for the http all right so let me see here where is http uh go ahead and type there so there it's http now i only want to open my this ec2 instance for public only at these port thereafter uh, only to these uh, connection types thereafter you can also uh, say that on which port you want so the http is open only at 80 port but uh, that is not a recommended way for us so what i'm going to do i'm going to open here a tcp connection all right so let's go ahead and open here tcp all tcp all right and the port range for all these tcp is from this port range to that port range otherwise you can also select here a custom tcp there you can tell your ec2 instance that get it accessible at port number 5000 although it is up to you which port you want to uh, make accessible thereafter save this rule uh this is asking about some something like this what i'm going to do here i'm going to make uh, make it accessible from all the tcp all right i mean from all the uh, all the ip address perfect let's go ahead and save it now this rule is saved thereafter even after that you will you will see here that it is not able to connect because in windows machine 
we have to also allow inbound connection. So let's go ahead to our EC2 instance. Uh, open here a uh, search bar. Uh, let me see. This is uh, becoming a little slow. All right, connection is lost. Perhaps because uh, I had lost internet connection in between. So let me first connect this one. Uh, once again, how I can connect it? What I'm going to do? Okay. Uh, uh, one more thing. What happens? Uh, SSH and custom TCP because I was connecting at uh, RDP that is why that connection is lost I also need to add here RDP let's go ahead search here RDP that's mean I also want to connect it with the you know the RDP remote desktop protocol thereafter I also want to connect it from all the IP addresses let's go ahead and save it only after that we will be able to connect our EC2 instance again. All right, once you have got it, thereafter click on this connect, download this remote desktop file, then click on this one. It will connect to RDP, then it asks about password. Click on this get password, select your PEM file, which we had created earlier. So I have it here, kgptalki.pem then decrypt it so this is the password i'm going to copy it then i'm going to paste it here all right with this perfect now we are going to connect our ec2 instance once again perfect now you see there we have reconnected to our ec2 instance now we need to open here our firewall Perfect. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click on firewall and security group. Thereafter, click on advanced settings and uh, it will take a little time because uh, this machine is a, a little slow. It is having only one gigabyte of RAM. All right, click on this inbound rule. Thereafter, you need to allow a 5000 port. So click on new rule. Thereafter, select here port all right and then click on next tcp i specify port on which you want to access so i want to access at 5000 port thereafter allow the connection then domain private etc all those things thereafter i'm going to say that allow 5000 so this is just a name then finish it all right now you see we have allowed inbound connection at port number 5000. Let's go ahead to, uh, you can check it in fact here. So in local, it is uh, running. Uh, sorry, it is saying that it is not running. Let me see why it is not running. Okay, I need to actually make it at 5000. Let's go ahead and run it. Well, so on local, it is running EC2 flash server. Now let's go ahead and test it whether now we are able to access it from our local computer or not. At a local host on EC2 instance, it was running. Now we are going to check it from our computer and yes, congratulations. Now it is running from our local computer itself. Perfect, congratulations. Now let's go ahead in the final peaks of this lesson. Let's go ahead and test it, uh, test our uh, API server from our local computer using API or HTTP API. So we already have here this digital BART prediction. If you have seen the previous lesson, we had in document there, digital BART app, it was on local computer. So this was the file, digital BART prediction. And we have been using it to predict on the local computer like this one. So I'm gonna copy it here and then I'm gonna just use it here predict from EC2 instance. Perfect. So there we are saying that predict from EC2 instance. Thereafter, I'm going to copy and paste it here. Then uh, you see here, we don't need actually a local host, but we need this address. Let's go ahead and copy it. Then I'm going to paste it here. So this is the address which we want to access and get sentiment. Perfect. This is the fantastic. 
So click on, it will just take a little time to, uh, you know, to fetch the sentiment of uh, this text data. Uh, since this is the first time, so it might take a little time to get it complete. All right, so it is doing, just wait a second. Perfect, and now it is saying that this is the negative sentiment. And if you go to at your EC2 instance and there in the Flask API, we have received here get sentiment. All right, although we have not received the address from where we are accessing, perhaps I think this is my PC address. I mean, I mean, this is my PC address. Let me see my PC address 122.167. I'm not sure what's my IP. Yes, perfect. This is fantastic. Now this is saying that this is our IP and uh, I have been accessing it from my IP and uh, this IP is printed here and earlier we had tested it from the local server and if you check it from here then you will get the result that it is again accessed from the local server. Now you see how beautiful is this. Congratulations. Now you have deployed your machine learning model on AWS Windows machine. Fantastic. Congratulations. Now now in the next section, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your machine learning model on EC2 instance using Ubuntu machine. Fantastic. Once again, congratulations, you have done it. I'll see you in next lesson.